time for a mommy vlog. It's time for a mommy vlog. It's time for a mommy vlog. Mommy vlogs. Hey, party people. I wanted to talk to you guys today about a very serious subject. Something that I wish someone had talked to me about. Something I wish that people had prepared me for. This is something that I've talked about before the last few months. Something new has happened. All the kids are in school. It's been a few months now. I've had a little bit of time to adjust. I wanted to make a video for any of those stay-at-home moms that had to go through this transition of having the kids at home. Like 10 years of it. 10 years of birthing, nursing, raising babies. And now they're off at school and you're left with kind of a semi-empty nest for part of the day. It's just weird. I wanted to impart to you just a few nuggets of what I've learned so far. Number one, it's gonna be weird. You might be like, they're going to school! I'm gonna have some time to myself! Yes, that's great. It is wonderful. But I wasn't prepared for the hole in my heart that happened when they left. I just want you to know, just just be prepared for some strange feeling. Breathe, uh, write in your journal, um, take lots of long showers because you deserve it. Take a long shower where no one's interrupting you. I mean, get the scrub out and scrub. Wash that hair, condition that hair. Do some protein treatments, do a mask. Paint your nails and wait for them to dry. You, you deserve it. It's been a long time coming and you deserve it. I would advise you to take a nap, a long nap. I would advise you to rent some movies like romantic comedy, action, grown up movie, not, not adult movies. Get your mind out the gutter. Movies that you can enjoy, intellectual movies, movies like that, you know, that's not Dora. This is the game plan, people. I'm telling you the game plan. Spa day, naps, rent movies. Don't clean the house. Do not clean the house. Just give yourself a couple days just to... The next thing you should do is research some after school snacks because I've got three in school and when they come home, they're famished. They are so hungry when they walk in the door. So think in your mind what is a good after school healthy snack. See some kids walking home right now. Oh, I still have some time. Then the next thing I would advise you to do is don't rush into anything yet. Don't rush into a job, don't rush into school. Just stop and think. Like you're in a new phase of your life. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You might have some time to think about yourself. Who am I? Who was I before kids? What was I thinking about doing? What do I want to do? You might want to go back to work. You might want to go back to school. You might want to volunteer. You might want to uh, start a business. You know, there's all kinds of things. I just stop. Just slow your roll. Just slow it up. Just back up. Baby, back up. Baby, back up. And there was a lady at my church who said, she told me don't rush into anything. And so I did remember that sentence. And it did help because when the kids went back to school, I was like, I'm going to school. I need to get another degree. I need to find a job. I need to do something. The other thing is, you think that you have all this time, which you do, but you really still have stuff to do. You have to go to the grocery store. You have to clean, run errands. You need to pick them up, go to the doctor. You might have more time to go visit with a friend. Um, when you're shopping, you can just go a little slower. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's really nice. I can stand there and compare prices. So you might be wondering, DJ, what are you doing? I am making this video right now. Why are you asking me? Mainly what I've been working on is writing. I've been writing, working on wanting to put this web series together on sweatpants and high heels. That's my other channel I'm starting. I've actually had the opportunity to do more films, short films. I'm in a web series, another web series. So for me, my goal is to do more acting. This is getting really long. I really was thinking about what, what do I want to do? And it always comes back down to acting. 
that's my passion. Looked at what I've been doing, which is blogging and YouTubing and crafting and different things. So I've been looking at how can I now make this more of a job. So I, you know, started monetizing. Well, I did monetize my videos, but I never was like figured out how to actually get the funds that I've been earning. So I've been kind of looking at that. I don't know. I also put up my one woman show, so I really hope to take that on tour like I said before. So I'm just I'm just figuring things out. I don't really know how everything works in terms of taking something on tour, although I've produced and directed plays before. I've never really produced a web series, so I'm trying to figure that out. So yeah, I'm just drinking a lot of coffee. A little tip for you guys. I hope it helped. Now please, I know I say this, but I really mean it. Comment below. Tell me what you've learned um, through this transition and any tips that you have for anybody else. And I know the next phase of this is going to be like the real deal empty nesting feeling, you know, when the kids go off to college. I've talked to um, older friends who are experiencing this and I realize that this is just like a mini version of that because when that happens, Nobody's coming home at 3 p.m. You're entering a new phase of life. It's going to be after school activities, homework, the social aspects of being a young child in school in this day and age. So even though you're in a new phase, parenting is not over yet. It's time for a mommy vlog. It's time for a mommy vlog. It's time for a mommy vlog. Mommy vlog.